Germany? I think it's definitely too early to call it that. I think what we can do is what Dr. Folkman would say, and that is if you're a mouse and you have cancer, we can cure you. But there's a long way between mouse and man, and we must be very aware of the hurdles that we face in developing a new drug. We also must be aware of the fact that we're being asked to do it faster than anyone has ever done it before. I think we're up to that challenge. to see that somebody's receiving a drug or participating in a clinical trial. And that's what I think. You know, when I was watching yesterday, the reports that... Well, I'm very hopeful only because I know how I feel. And over the last five or six months, the, the way that I feel is so much better than I've ever felt before. Yeah. That's fine. More ways to look at one dog. <laughs> oh, boy, is it interesting. Well, have you had lunch yet? Boy, no, I haven't. But I have to go see someone across from the hospital oh. before I go. The tumor will create tons of new blood vessels to feed itself. And the theory goes if you can cut off that blood vessel formation, the tumor will stop growing or it perhaps will stop spreading or maybe it will go away completely. Well, I've left a message for her to page me. Okay. And she's really ready. Okay. Well, it was funny, like, you know, just yesterday. Though I'm very excited about this as a new class of drugs, it's by no means the miracle cure or the thing that's going to be making cancer go away. I mean, we should all be so lucky to have that first patient that whose tumor goes away completely or who derives some benefit in their quality of life before we get use the word miracle cure.